Hello! Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Universal Robots Remote TCP and Toolpath URCAP. The Universal Robots Toolpath URCAP is a software package that allows you to create and execute toolpaths for your Universal Robot. It is particularly useful for applications where you need to follow specific paths and movements with your robot's end effector. Before we begin, there are two prerequisites to running this UR cap. The first prerequisite is to have the UR cap installed. To do this, follow these steps. Open the try bar menu in the top right corner of Polyscope. Then select Settings. In the Settings menu, choose System and then UR caps. Look for the Remote TCP and Toolpath UR cap and follow the instructions provided to activate it. The second prerequisite is to have a CAD post processor. You can download the G-Code post processor for Fusion 360 or SOLIDWORKS from the UR Plus products website. The post processor converts your CAD design into G-Code, which is a programming language used by the robot to interpret toolpaths similar to a CNC machine. Now that you have fulfilled the prerequisites, let's start creating our toolpath. In this tutorial, we will be using Fusion 360. As you can see on the screen, I have modeled the Roots logo as an example. To begin, we need to import the post processor we downloaded. Follow these steps. Open the Manufacturing tab, click on Manage, and then Post Library. Under Local, you can import the Universal Robots CPS file. Now, let's create the toolpath. For this demonstration, we will start with a simple 2D drawing. Go to the 2D tab and select Trace. First, select your end of arm tool. In my local library, I have created a tool that resembles the robot's gripper. Since we're not machining, I will disable the coolant feature. On the next tab, select all the vectors you want to trace. Next we need to input the Z heights. The first one is the clearance height. This is the height at which the tool will retract when moving over the workpiece. Then, input the retract height. This is the height to which the tool will retract when traveling to the next plunge point. Finally, set the feed height. This is the height above zero where the tool will execute the toolpath. Once you have entered these parameters, it is essential to simulate your toolpath to ensure you won't damage any of your equipment. Finally, export your G-code by clicking on Actions and then Post Process. Select the Universal Robots Post Processor file. Name your file and post. Using a USB stick, transfer the file to your robot and give it a try. Now that we're on the robot, go to the installation menu, click on URCAP, and then Remote TCP and Toolpath. Click on Toolpath Move. Here you will find additional instructions on how to set up and use this URCAP. In the top menu, select Toolpath. On this screen, you can import your Toolpath Move. Now, if we go back to the Program menu, select URCAPs, and then toolpath move. Next, set the tool speed to 50 millimeters per second and the tool acceleration to 50 millimeters per second. Now, let's set our TCP. I have created a tool center point called TCP inverted Z. The Z axis on this TCP is opposite of what you would typically see on most end of arm tools. The instructions we saw earlier in the installation menu explain why we do this. By having the z-axis inverted, when the g-code instructs the robot to retract, it will raise above the table instead of plunging into it. Now, select the area where it says Toolpath 2 and select your toolpath. Then, select your plane. In the installation menu, under Features, you will need to create a plane that represents the top of your workpiece. In this instance, my plane represents the tabletop. 
you can now play your program. It is recommended to play it at a slower speed for your first run to minimize the risk of damaging any of your equipment. And that's how you use the Universal Robots Toolpath URCAP.